And that's the new single by Blizzard of Oz, the band that's been put together by Ozzy Osbourne, and he's in our studio now. The inevitable question, why did you knock Black Sabbath on the head as far as you're concerned? Um, musical direction, I believe, really. There's a lot of bitterness going on in, in, internally with the band, you know, I didn't get on with cer certain members of the band and they didn't get on with me and they, they didn't see eye to eye like, like I was seeing eye to eye and it was clashing. But I'm still very fond of them all. Wish them all the luck in the world and I suppose they think the same about me. Well, what do you think of the new lineup of the band? Well, it's never the same. It'll, I mean, it's, to me it sounds like Rainbow. Once you take the, the singer out of a band, it's a different, it's, this, the sound's gone anyway, really. It's a new band, because we were going to plan a World Farewell tour and um, never materialise. We were going to do a live album. Then the live album was released, which I wasn't very happy with. But, you know, it was out and the kids bought it, so... And then Paranoid. Paranoid, I can't believe that's come out of the archives yet again. Yeah. Well, that's a classic, though, was it? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, was, I, only, I only made it. <laughs> Are you likely to do it with your new lineup? Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. I can't go on stage without doing Paranoid. Let's talk about the new lineup that you're <coughs> working with, Blizzard of Oz. Who is this guitar player, Randy Rhodes? This is just a phenomenon. I, I met him in L.A. about just after I left Black Sabbath, because we went out to L.A. To, re to start writing when I was still with the Sabbath. And uh, it all fell apart. And I was just, like, gimping around clubs and whatnot. And um, somebody recommended him to me, actually. He was a guitar teacher out there. And I'd given up, I was, I was looking for people for weeks and I'd given up all hope of ever finding anybody out there and suddenly this guy, this guy weighing about two ounces wet, suddenly knocked the door with his guitar and I thought, wow. So I heard him play at four o'clock in the morning when I was absolutely drunk out of my mind and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing and I said, wow, you know, let's have a go and we got it together from there. So the, was that then just the two of you, yourself and Randy yeah, Rose? Yeah, then I met Bob Daisley in the, the music machine in London, we, the three of us started to write together. And uh, then we met, finally, after many, many auditions, we met Lee Kurz like about three or four days before we went into the studio and we worked him into the, the material that we'd written. And uh, we went in and sailed through the album and it came out. I'm going to play a track now from the album which is called Mr Crowley and I'm obviously yes. going to ask you about it after <laughs> we've heard it. My dad. Very much, I think, in the, uh, at least lyrically, in the style of, uh, of Sabbath. That's called Mr. Crowley. It's from the album, Blizzard of Oz. So you're still into the black magic. After leaving a band called Black Sabbath, I couldn't start singing about my mother's cat, could I? You know? There is a fanaticism, a pleasant fanaticism, about you and the public. It's a privilege for me to have them audience in front of me as well as they obviously feel of me in front of them, you know. Do you see them as you were? Oh, yeah. I mean, I am them, you know. I mean, I, I, I not, not were. I am them. I was, otherwise, I wouldn't be still doing what I'm doing. I, I can relate. I mean, I've got all the time in the world. Anyone knocks my door, I've, I spend... It's a funny story, actually. A few weeks back, three guys knocked the door at about half eight in the morning. They, they travelled a considerable way on a, on a push bike to come to my house. I said, the door knocks, and I've got up all grog, and I've got down to sit up in the door, and the three guys standing there, all those jackets and their badges and everything on. Wow, this guy says, he's here. They says, uh, we've started our own band. I said, yeah, great. Maybe you'll, if you carry on, you'll rehearse. You'll maybe get up the ladder one day and whatnot. He says, we've really admired Black Sabbath for so many years. Can we see your guitar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the singer, you know? Yeah. I'm going, wow. <laughs> as far as the new album is concerned, it's a whole spectrum of things. It's a very diverse well, it's, album. It's, it's Black Sabbath got categorised as one thing. And Black Sabbath, that, that was Black Sabbath's downfall in a lot of ways, because with a name like Black Sabbath and the, the image that Black Sabbath had created for itself, like these witches and demons and all that, you couldn't go and sing I Left My Heart in San Francisco type of song, you know, you, you couldn't do anything like that. And that always frustrated me because I really wanted to do something totally different, but still maintaining the same sound, but you can, you know, variate it a bit. So I've, I've put everything, all the frustrating points that I wanted to put all through the years, I've put on this album. Something I notice about your singing on this album, there's more range. Well, it's like with, with, with Tony Army's belting riffs, there's not much you can really do, because he's so, so clever with riffs, and, you know, he's, he's a very clever... You know, I, just, I mean, I'm, I don't knock the guy, I mean, I think he's one of the most incredible heavy metal guitarists in the world. I, I, I mean, 
There's no hard feelings between me, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. So, you've, I mean, you've, you've got a band now that allows you, to a degree, to expand your well, opinion. We, we allow ourselves. I mean, like, Lee was very suppressed with Uriah Heep. Bob was suppressed with, with Rainbow because it was Richie Blackmore's band. I was suppressed with Black Sabbath, and Randy's just a guy that's come along and he's given us all a, a, this enthusiasm and the youth back to, to want to have a go, you know. Revelation, Mother Earth, is a, a very intriguing track. Yeah, it's about, at the time of writing that, we were all worried about the atom bomb being dropped yet again and the Russians invading and the Afghanistan scene and the Olympics going to be blown up and all that. And so we, Bob and myself and Randy sat down and wrote the thing about just let my mother live. It's all about, like, Mother Earth. And that's Revelation, Blizzard of Oz, from their debut album, which is coming out on September the 12th, which is the day the tour starts. It's... that's a complicated track. It's very complicated. We're complicated people. <laughs> complicated world. There's light, there's shade. Yeah, well, well, that's what I like. The only thing about it is when you get it on stage, will the people sort of sit back and think, oh, we'll get into this. Not until you know it will you understand what it's about, because it's, uh, it's like... We, we came to a point in that when we thought, well, if we carry on doing the same thing, it's going to get boring. So we started to change it and just, like, snowball into a different thing. Yeah, you haven't gone for the obvious. Oh, no. Not at all. I'd be, in fact, every track on the album is played in a different key. Purposely, because, like, we wanted to do every track in a different key because of that reason, to, to make a, a little bit of light and shade with the album. I'm very pleased. I mean, everybody in the band's really knocks out with this album. I mean, I'd, I never thought I'd be, I could ever sit down talking to you and say, I've, we've, I've finally done it because I thought it was a dream that I'd never, ever do, you know, get my own band together and do. I thought it would be Black Sabbath till the day I die, you know. If I was, say, a 16-year-old Ozzy Osbourne fan sitting in front of you, what would you say to it? I'd just look at myself as being an ordinary guy like anybody else. And I'd sort of, I kind of, I, I kind of, I can't understand why they want to talk to me, and yet I can, I can understand if I was in their shoes, but I'm me. It's like when you're on the inside looking out, you, you, can't under, you find it hard to understand why people can't accept you as being human, and, you know, that we don't sleep upside down in rafters with bats hanging off our shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the track called I Don't Know. Ozzy Osbourne's Blizzard of Oz. The tour starts on the 12th of September. That's the date the album comes out as well. I've heard the rest of the album, and it is a heavy, heavy album. The reason he didn't do Reading this year with his new band is down to the fact that there's quite a bit, a bit of keyboards in the album, and he didn't have the right keyboard player to go on the stage with him. Nice fella as well. Nice to see him back. Bit of Bob Marley and the Whalers to take us to.